Welcome to your Moon Phase update for the week of the 10th of April to the 16th of April. I'm Kirsten Leo from the Light Path Collective, where we've got you covered with all things Moon Phases. So we are still beginning, we're beginning the week in our waning gibbous phase of reevaluation. We're reevaluating post full moon where we looked at our relationships and we did some pretty serious cord cutting. So now is a time to keep reevaluating what that means for you as we move into the next moon phase, which is the last quarter moon phase on the 13th of April, where you get to re-release. So it's actually a great opportunity to go back and to look at your full moon ritual that you did on the 6th and repeat that process of cord cutting deeply in that subconscious level, which is in your full moon resources for the moon membership, that guided meditation. Then on the 14th to the 16th, we will be in the waning crescent moon phase. Now is when we begin to switch gears and really prepare for that new moon energy. It's a time where we're going to be building up to our very first eclipse season of 2023. And as we know, eclipse seasons of, often brings us lots of surprises. And it's a great time to really reflect on the intentions that you might have set Back in our very first moon in Aries because this is going to be our second new moon in Aries for 2023. So look back at the intentions that you set now in light of all the relationship cord cutting and releasing that you did and sort of begin to consider you know what is it with these intentions that do really stick with me and maybe which ones do I may need to adjust because we also know that the energy around the intentions is the most important thing. So we, before we begin to work in this eclipse season energy, which is obviously often going to throw up a lot of surprises or reveal some information that we might not have had available to us before, we really need to look at what it is that we can do to consider our relationships and the best way to move forward with them and within them. So have a beautiful week of deep reflection and reevaluating.